Some of the best fragrance flankers you can buy today cheap for all budgets. For example, what is a flanker? Dolce Gabbana. This is Per Homme, the original office fragrance. It's soapy, it's peppery, it lasts a super long time. This is the original, then they came out with light blue, and then the best flanker that you would buy would be called light blue O Intense. And this is the format that the video will go throughout this whole list. It's going in all different directions of designer brand names. Hard to find fragrances? No, I'm gonna show you some fragrances that are easy to find in this Prada Loam line that's half of them are all discontinued, but one, I'm gonna show you that coming up soon. Let's start off with Moustache, Rocha. Came out in 1947, so I suppose this 2018 release would be its flanker, and it's a vanilla fragrance that's overly hyped here on the YouTube channel, but people love it because it smells so expensive. Different varieties of people say four to six hours, some people say 12 hours longevity. It's all about your skin chemistry and how many times you pull that trigger. All in all, it smells like Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo on a budget because it's like 40 bucks for 4.1 ounces. For women, Prada Candy. No, you want to get Prada Candy Night. This is the best flanker for you. Real quick, I wanted to shout out to the ladies. Next, you have Givenchy Gentleman. The best flanker is called Givenchy Gentleman. Eau de Parfum. 2018 release with black vanilla, long lasting, lovely iris note, upscale fragrance, totally sexy, totally compliment getting, getting you notice. You like Isimiyaki? The old school, what could be better than the original old school Isimiyaki? Isimiyaki Polaris. Polaris also has some deep dark notes because it's called Nuit de Polaris and it has some vanilla notes in it, and the projection is out of this world, and the longevity is out of this world. It's about $60 I found it for, 4.2 ounce. Here we have an interesting situation. The best Hugo Boss bottled would be Boss Bottled Intense, but this 3.4, average price $200, so that can't be on the list. So I'm gonna show you two this time. The very best Boss Bottled Flanker is called Boss Bottled Oud. It has the apple note, cinnamon note, and agar wood oud. However, if you're brand new to fragrances, I won't recommend this to you because sometimes, even though it's easy to wear oud in this one, for a brand new nose, you won't like it. It can smell fecal. You're not used to it. So I'm going to recommend you get Boss Bottled Infinite, which is very wearable. This smells like like a Parfums de Marley Sedley fragrance, which is $300. And these both are about the same price, running right around the $49 to $55 range. Either one's good, but the Boss Bottle Oud passes it up in longevity. And people also say that this smells like this Boss Bottled Intense, which also has the apple vanilla, but no Oud wood in it. And that's the difference. The best Dior Sauvage is Dior Sauvage Elixir. It's got a cool pressurized sprayer, and I love the smell of it. It's got this licorice note in it. It's straight up heat fire. New guys, old guys, you can get it. You can get this if you're brand new to fragrances, and you'll be extremely advanced information because you said, I want to buy Sauvage Elixir. Yeah, get your credit card ready because it costs buck fifty. but don't worry. Those compliments are going to be coming in. And another one that's kind of expensive that's totally worth it is the Best Bleu de Chanel. It's called Eau de Parfum. You want to get that in your collection. Anybody, level one to whatever level of fragrance enthusiast that you are. The best Azaro Wanted is called Azaro Wanted by night right now. It's the lowest price. Bang for your buck. It does have nice boozy notes and nice sweet notes all coming together and it lasted eight hours every single time projects hardcore they do have some new azaros out i haven't tested them yet one of them is called the most wanted then you have spice bomb the regular spice bomb is a great fragrance and guess what this smells like initio's rehab on a budget but we're not talking about that today sorry to go off topic we are talking about the best flanker and that would be spice bomb extreme then we're going to move on to versace eros the famous lemon vanilla fragrance with the mint the vest they have versace eros they have eau de toilette eau de parfum parfum and they also have flame and that would be your best flanker it has a Kinoto note, how do you pronounce? Anyway, it's like a burst 
of citrus. Some people hate it. Some people love it for hot weather all year round. I love it. It's got a nice sweet vanillic undertone. There's nothing else I could say that's bad about this. Lasts long. It's like, it's just, to me, I use the word fire, straight fire, underappreciated, underrated. Cool water. You guys like cool water? By the way, thank you so much. We hit 45,000 subscribers. I wasn't really keeping count. I'd like to hit 50,000. Can you help me do that? The Breadman can, because he's always there commenting. Shout out to Breadman, Jimmy, and all you other guys. Peace. Cool water, the best cool water. Before I was gonna tell you this cool water intense, because it's very, very cheap. But I found this. Cool water, pow fum. By the way, I flipped the camera around. Tell me if you like this view better or the one with the microwave and the oven. This is called cool water pow fum. This is another one, you call it straight heat because it smells completely different than cool water. It's got these great sweetness note going on to it. It kind of smells like a Dylan Blue almost meets Chanel. Fantastic fragrance. Dolce Gabbana, the one, Eau de Toilette. No, the best Dolce Gabbana, the one, is the Eau de Parfum. Who agrees with me? Comment down below, who agrees with me? Dolce Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum, is like eight or nine, ten dollars higher than the Eau de Toilette. The best flanker for that, sorry for the shades. Next, you have this one here, is, is very complicated. It's called Prada Lom. So you would tell me, what's the best flanker of that? A lot of people will say Prada intense this is like discontinued very hard to find in the hundred dollar range this is also hard to find 1.7 is in the 90 dollar range and then you would say but what about this water this is called prada low this used to be 30 dollars 1.7 i was finding it for i found this five ounce bottle for like 60 dollars but now it's 200 so here's your tip Get it while it lasts. You can find Prada Water Splash. Cheap, $60 for five ounces, $70. It's the same smell, lighter, with some citruses. And Prada Water Splash is Prada Loam Water Splash is what it's called. It's a hidden gem, underappreciated. No one talks about it. The best Azaro that's readily available, Azaro Por Ohm, you would want to get this one. It's called Ginger Lovers. It's very, still very much available. $35 to $40. Smells like Yves Saint Laurent Lom Lotim. Only has three notes, ginger and vetiver and one citrus. This new fragrance I found that someone texted to me and said, this is called the masterpiece. It smells like Mancera's black gold. It said that he sprayed it three times and it was so strong, he almost puked and it gave him a headache. And that's what I'm gonna tell you. If you're new to fragrances, you don't always want the strongest, longest lasting fragrance, but the best one to get is this new one called Royal Imperial from this Anfar London. Royal Imperial has a serious citrus top note off the get-go and I can't only spray it one time I'm gonna tell you this is the truth this thing lasted 48 hours after showering sweating testing severely it's it's gone finally after 60 hours but if you would to spray this three times I wouldn't even recommend it one half spray is all you would need and it'll project it'll last 24 hours and what happens is it's such a brand new fragrance it just dropped in the usa it just got manufactured in like 2022 maybe you want to take the cap off and let it macerate it's so fresh it's so strong this thing here i can't even believe it. it's got some licorice note it's got some floral notes as you dry down in the fifth hour you'll smell just like a ventus and then it changes a little bit differently and it has some sauvage notes into it it's very unique and extremely powerful level three advanced i mean if you're a level one guy and you want the most strongest longest lasting fragrance you get this and you barely spray it on yourself and that's how i would do it if you like this video watch this one coming up next peace